Well, as you can imagine, there's no break in sight for the current drought conditions, and it is now showing up in waterways across Minnesota. Rivers and streams are at record low levels for July, especially in the northern part of the state. Here's a look at water levels from April. Green is normal, orange is low, and white shows where there was still snow. Now compare that to this week. The red shows minimum flow, the orange is low. Only the southern part of the state has some normal flow levels. Lisa Meadows is at Grays Bay Dam where Lake Minnetonka flows into the Minnehaha Creek. What's it look like there, Lisa? Well, Amelia, usually this area is completely covered with water, but because of the recent drought conditions, we are actually seeing this, just like many other waterways across Minnesota, drying up. We have been seeing the signs of drought on fields and lawns all summer. But now we are even starting to see the impacts on our waterways. We're getting calls, um, you know, from a recreation standpoint. Um, if you're trying to either get, even just get your boat in the water at a, a boat landing, you know, docks are different levels. As water levels keep going down, new river hazards keep coming up. People trying to access below, you know, dry boats below uh, bridges, um, having impacts. And this week's extreme heat is making things a lot worse. Lake Minnetonka is so large, a hot 90 degree day, we lose a lot of water evaporation. In fact, the lake can lose as much as an inch and a half of water in just two days. That evaporation that's happening across our water bodies is just dramatic this year. Um, we're just losing so much water to just evaporation. The low water levels have actually produced a crop of wild rice, which only occurs under these conditions. From another aquatic standpoint, warmer temperatures can lead to more green, green blue green algae blooms. We're having, because of the warmer water temperatures, more fish die off um, because water temperatures are just increasing. And the drier than average long range forecast means things will continue to get worse. You're going to see likely main stem creeks dry up. Um, you're going to see lake levels continue to drop. And the plan is for tomorrow to close off this last gate. That is going to completely shut off water flow into Minnehaha Creek. All right. Thank you, Lisa.